In this lesson, we are going to look at how to create and run an update query. An update query is a really useful feature that will allow you to update the values in a table based on any given criteria. I always suggest to people that they have a good look at data before they start making amendments. So let's have a look at what data we've got. I've got a staff list table, and in the staff list, we've got the details of the employee, what their position is, date of employment, and salary. Now, I want to create a query that will give everybody a pay rise. So we'll look at that. We don't have to go through and type in everybody's new salary. We can do it automatically. So we'll close this table down. And we do that by creating a query. So I'm going to select the query objects and create a new query in design view. We add the table we want to work with. And of course, with any query, you can always work with more than one table. But in this instance, I only want to work with the staff list table. And then we close the show table dialog box. So let's add some fields to our query. We'll put in the employee's surname. Remember, there's a few different ways to do this. You can click and drag. You can double click. Or you can use the drop down in the grid area to choose the field that you want to work with. It's your choice. I prefer the double click method. So I've got the candidate's surname. We'll put their position in. And then we'll put their salary in. And I always say keep switching to data sheet view so you can see how your query is coming along to make sure you are getting the effects that you want. So we'll just switch across to data sheet view. Yep, and there we can see the surname, the position of the um, employee and the salary that, that they are on. We'll switch back now into design view and look at how to create this simple select query into an update query. And it's very straightforward. All we do is the query type button. We click the little drop down arrow. It sees a number of different queries that we can create and we'll come back to these in later videos. In this video though, we're looking at an update query. So that's what we select. As I click on this, just monitor the changes that happens in the grid area. You can see a line change there. We've now got the update to field. And this works very straightforward. We could just type a figure into here. So for example, if I wanted to make everybody's salary 20,000, I could just type that in the box, run the query, and everybody's salary would be 20,000 pounds. So we can use flat rate numbers. I could change everybody's position to worker. So I could just type worker in the box, change, I'll get it there eventually, run the query and everybody's new position would be worker. But we can be cleverer than that. We can actually do a calculation. I want to update the salary based on the existing salary that's there. I want to give everybody a 10% pay rise. So what we need to do is put in the field that we want to work with. Now the field is called salary, salary figure. So I need to tell the computer that I want to use that information. And I do that by using square brackets and then the name of the field that you want to work. Now a word of caution, you must use square brackets, have a good look at those, and you must get the exact spelling of the field that you want to use. If you don't get the exact spelling, things will go wrong. Now I'm just building up a calculation in here, so I want to multiply. I want to multiply their salary by a certain percentage. Now, I don't want to go into the mathematical aspects of this particularly, but to give everybody a 10% pay rise, I can't just calculate 10%. I 
I've got to calculate 110%. So that it takes that 10% value and adds it to the 100% value or the current value, if you like. Now, there's all kinds of calculations you can use to make this happen. I'm just going to put in times 1.1. That is the same as giving a pay rise of 10%. Multiplying the existing value by 1.1. Okay. All we then need to do, and of course you could save this query and run it as many times as you want, but to run the query, we use the run query icon. Now, quite often in the past, you may as well have had a look at queries by switching to datasheet view. And this works on a simple select query. But when you are using queries that do something, you've got to run the query. And you run the query using this icon. So I'll click on the icon. And it gives you a little warning saying it's about to update the 12 rows. Are we sure? Yes, we are. That has now happened. So if I just minimize that and show you the existing table again, you should be able to see, and I hope you can remember that Peter Nider had a salary of 22,000. His salary is now 24,200. He has been given, alongside everybody else, a 10% pay rise. Now, we look at the query again, just to remind you that we've still got the criteria row here, so we can make this selective. We could just say anybody who is a manager has a 10% pay rise. So we can put that criteria in this box by just putting in manager. And that would just give the managers a 10% pay rise. Alternatively, we could just say, and perhaps this is fairer, but let's not get political. We could just say, let's give everybody a pay rise who, has, who earns less than a certain value. So if we just have a look at our salaries again, we've got a few people, two people, who earn less than £10,000. Let's give them an additional pay rise. So let's say, in the criteria, only to apply it to people who earn less than £10,000. Remember, when you're working with criteria, you don't have to put pound signs in, just the numbers. In fact, let's give them a 50% pay rise. So remember the salaries that they're on, just under 4,000 and just under 10,000. We'll run the query. Say yes, it's only picked up two people this time. And now we can see that those two people have had a substantial pay rise. So that is update queries and we access that by doing a normal query and then using the update query type.